What's going on everybody, it's that real think tank. I want to show you guys something, okay? Check this out. We're going to the premiere. We're not going actually going inside. I just want to show you this premier building right here. You know what this is? This is the brand spanking new African American Museum. All right. Now I want you to notice the crowd. Look at this. Look at this. Not so hidden history. Not so hidden history. Yeah, they crank. They got the people cranking the black music. You got the food trucks out here. You got the white folks enjoying the sunny day, and everybody. Huh? Look at this. Look at this beautiful building sitting right here. Now, just so you know, this building is sitting right next to the Big Tekka, all right, which is, you know, is really a big black penis that represents the power of the United States of America. An African penis, that's what that is. All right, if you guys don't know, it's an African penis, all right? Look at this beautiful building. Look at that. Huh? This was built specifically to represent and show the not so hidden history of African Americans. Okay, and you see who is sitting here, you know, who's sitting here coming out of this uh, museum, who wants to learn about African American history. They actually have a, uh, they have a food court that has all the cuisines. It's probably, you probably can't see it down this thing. They have all the cuisines. Oh, and there's a guy who's homeless. There's an African American who's homeless. He, I see him all the time. He's just doing his thing, you know. But look who you see here, huh? Who's interested in African-American not so hidden history? You see, our history is not hidden. Our history is not hidden. Look at the architecture. And they put this building, they put this building right next to the White House. The White House is right there. They put this the closest to the American power. This is as close to American power as possible. They actually put this, most museums are way down there, way, way down there, but they wanted to put this closest to American power, closest to the representation of the black man's penis, which represents the power of America. Yeah, that's what that is. The power of America, huh? And here's a question, all right? It's one thing to buy a building, to do a museum, right? Look how beautiful they put the pathway is, is I mean, they really, it's really nice, right? It's really nice. It's one thing to, let me turn this camera around. It's one thing to have a museum, right? It's another thing to put things in the museum. Now here's the question. If Tariq Nasheed was gonna do a hidden history museum and he's gonna get the two million dollars, whatever, to buy the building, well, what was he gonna put inside the museum seeing how it was hidden, right? What connections and network does he have to gather such rare and hidden material to, you know, put inside his museum? Because last time I checked, all the good stuff, all the history that's not so hidden is actually huh, this museum okay check this out they got stores and stuff look they got paraphernalia and everything they're making money all right they're making this is in washington dc if you really want to learn african history you can go you know look who that look at that what is he looking to buy what is, what is that guy looking to purchase huh look at these people look how beautifully manicured this place is because to get artifacts first of all it's hard to get artifacts in general to put in museum if you got the connections it's a multi-billion dollar trillion dollar business artifacts paintings most of the things inside these museums are worth hundreds of millions of dollars some stuff are just priceless you can't even purchase it and let me tell you something about this museum you can't just walk up in this museum yo you got to have a ticket most museums in washington dc you can just walk in except for this one it's free the tickets are free but you gotta have it they want to know who's coming up in here now look at this. Look how beautiful this is. We even got a little reflection pool and everything. Huh? We got plenty of African Americans learning about African American history. Huh? Okay. All right. Look at this reflecting pool here. Huh? A nice little waterway and whatnot. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right? Right next to the, like I said again, big tick, big penis. All right? The Greeks called it, the Greeks called it an obelisk. Okay? Obelisk meaning chicken skewer because they say when they used to see these obelisks, that it reminded them of the chicken skewers that they use, you know, when they were roasting chicken over a fire. All right. And if you don't know, Washington, D.C. is actually built like the Egyptian cities, not the pyramids that you see that they always advertise, but it's built like the like if you look, if you want to learn, King Ja can tell you. All right. Go over to his channel. Support my man, King Ja. He can tell you because he's been there. 
the whole entire of Washington, D.C., the place people love to come visit and see the marble buildings and, and all that stuff, is designed directly and inspired by Egypt. And it was designed and built by an African-American. Designed this beautiful place that everybody around the world comes to go see. A lot of people don't know it because they give credit to the Greeks. The Greeks copied the Greeks copied Egypt and they built their cities off of Egypt. And then the Rome did exactly the same thing. And then Europe did the same thing, right? Uh, Northern Europe. So, and then of course, ultimately America and the UK did the same thing. Look where they put, look, that's Virginia right there. You can see the sky, you can see the um, skyline over there. There's the big penis again. African American Museum. African American Museum where all all the world can come and t come and taste African American cuisine from Louisiana all the way up to Chicago, all the way to New York, all the way to California. Anything blackity black black, you can go in there and you can get. And it's actually really good. It's like one of the best top rated food courts in America. All right, that's the truth. All right, they have everything in here. And this is just this is the main museum. And this is by the Smithsonian, the Smithsonian, meaning the government paid for this museum. And I'm telling you, you ask anybody who's been inside this museum. It's not so hidden history because they're not hiding anything. Nothing's hidden. So if anybody tell you that African-Americans have hidden history, it's not. They're just lying to you because they already know. If you want to hide something from a black person, just put it in the book. All right. Just put it, put it somewhere where you have to read or do some sort of work to actually gain the information. And most black folks, what? We don't. We won't find it. Why? Because we're too busy entertaining ourselves and complaining about this and that. Huh? Complaining about, oh. They stole our history, blah, blah. Well, guess what? They stole it and they put it in the goddamn museum so they can make some goddamn money. All right? Just like they stole all the rest of the world's shit and put it in their goddamn museums. Look at these buildings. That's Egypt. Huh? The most powerful place in the world is designed like the former most powerful place in the world. Man, you just really got to open your mind to think. But anyway, if y'all want to come and see a beautiful place and learn about your history and you happen to be in the Washington, D.C. area, you don't got to wait for Tariq Nasheed to build his uh, museum. All you got to do is come in to this beautiful museum. Like all the other white folks and Asian folks and Indian folks and black folks come and see and enjoy them. So look at this. They're all out here waiting. Look how beautiful this place is. Huh? That's respect right there. Better than some parking lot in California, right? Better than some parking lot. They put this right next to everything. Huh? Look at these buildings. Look at that. Look at these buildings. That's Egypt. It's all Egypt inspired. Now, what I'm wondering is, was the black person who designed this, did he know he was going to make it like Egypt? Did he do that on purpose? Or did they tell him, hey, I want you to make it as black as you I want you to make it like that stuff y'all built over there in Africa. That, I think that's what they said. I think that's how it went, went down. Had to. Had to. I think this, this, it looked like it's built like some sort of West African hat. I think the design must have been inspired by some sort of West African ha uh, hair, headdress or something like that. But anyway, yeah, we don't need, we don't need uh, the Hidden History Museum. We have one, all right? And it's right here, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful museum right here, huh? That lady works here. I think she wanted to talk to me, but I'm doing a video, so I can't do that. But anyway, African American Museum, not so hidden history, all right? So you want to learn about yourself? Come check this out. Go online, find it, and there you go. It's African Think Tank, learn something, teach something, I'm out. You're listening to D -D -D DJ DJ Afro Think Tank. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.